Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you 10 different websites where you get paid to basically play games in all sorts of different ways. I'm going to show you jobs. I'm going to show you business ideas and where to go for these businesses and also different side hustles you can do, all sorts of different websites to get started with. And also these, these can be done without having to be a streamer. So you're not having to start something you know, from scratch on Twitch or as a YouTuber, which is probably what a lot of videos would talk about if they were talking about how to make money playing games. So you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to start from scratch being a streamer. You can just go to these websites and use their different methods. So the first thing you can do is go to a site called Gamer Sensei. Gamer Sensei is a place where you can get paid for your video game knowledge. And if you are good at select video games if you are especially good at like eSport type games or online multiplayer games that are very competitive you can go to gamersensei.com and then you can you can also see how it works first and this is a place where you basically just coach people to get better at a particular game so if they find a game people will hire you to do a session this is either going to be one-on-one -on -one or a squad so either way you can coach either one person at a time or a group and then you just go to become a sensei at the bottom of the website and then you have your different benefits here they have easy scheduling payments and dedicated support team for you you have exclusive discounts on corsair gear which is a major gaming brand of uh, like headsets and other types of gear and then they have a community that you'll be a part of that will help you as well you can apply from many different countries around the world to become a game coach or a sensei the types of games they support are on this list right here. As you see, most of these are very competitive online games that you play against other people. And these are also popular for things like eSports. So what you need to do is describe your prior coaching experience if you have any. And they also want a, v a link to a VOD review or coaching session. So you may want to get like a friend or somebody to kind of be present where, while you give a coaching session, helping them improve their play style. But this way you can help people, you can play, you can, you know, teach people by playing games with other people and help them get better. And another nice thing is you get to actually set your own pay rate as well per hour. Now you can also look and see that they have good reviews, 4.5 out of 5 stars, 87% of people that have worked here recommend it. And you can see what other game coaches have earned. They don't have a lot of game coaches that have posted reviews yet, but the ones that have average somewhere around 32 and 41 dollars per hour another place where you can find different types of gaming jobs is at modsquad.com this is a company that's known for moderation services if you go to their website and you go to their careers page sometimes you may find jobs where you would get to like test games but most of these are going to be more traditional jobs so usually what you want to do is go to become a mod instead. This is more of where the people who are independent contractors will sign up and become a moderator. A lot of times this is the, the uh, person's first moderation job ever. And they tell you right here the different things that you would do. You have people answering phone calls and texting with customers, moderating posts on forums or online reviews. You could be monitoring images, videos, or live streams. They might be chatting in game or play testing a game. Um, so you see right here, one of the things they do is manage game, gaming communities, moderate live streams. Also, they test games as well. So they have different types of gigs you can do related to playing games or by watching people play games and making sure the community is doing everything they're supposed to do and not you know being toxic or something so that's kind of what you do here you'll find that they allow you to apply for many countries around the world in different languages you get to pick your projects so you can focus on the ones that are just about gaming if you want set your own schedule keep your day job many people are moonwider stay-at-home parents etc and this is something you can do that's more of an actual job that a lot of times will be part-time you can also look at their listings here for uh, what they have for the join the mods section which again is mostly their contract section here they have a lot of social media related jobs you have a, a gaming customer support job available right now um, you find all sorts of customer support jobs and moderator jobs here but every once in a while you'll also see um, you know gaming technical support you'll also see some game testers i don't see any right now 
but these are different jobs that are just always hiring for different things where you are a freelancer and you have a lot of control over your time. As far as what it's like to work at Mod Squad, they have a 3.5 out of 5 star rating, so people seem to like working here. Now, mod contractors and different independent contractors will have varying amounts of pay. Some say 25 an hour, 18 an hour. 38 an hour something like that and then some of them are as well as something like 18 an hour so it depends it could be anywhere from something maybe like 15 to 35 an hour 40 an hour depending on what you do another place you can actually find gaming jobs surprisingly um, I, I just found this out a few months ago when they had a new listing at Netflix Netflix is obviously what you would think of for you know TV movies all that stuff but they actually had a job that was that was in their game division. So I actually have the exact job listed on my website if you want to see exactly what the description was for this job. It was called a game rating strategist at Netflix. It was a remote job in the United States where basically you would review game content. So you would have to play through these games and review scripts, design documents, video footage, and test the games. So you see right there, you would actually be playing games for Netflix, which is kind of something they're trying to grow is their net, their kind of gaming division. Um, you have the ability to research and analyze game content and all of that stuff. You're going to also check ratings. So make sure that the appropriate age rating is applied to every game. And then the qualifications they required were three plus years of experience in one or more of the fields of content classification, content moderation, trust and safety, and things along those lines. It was also a job that had a very wide range of pay, somewhere between 80 and 350,000 a year, which is obviously very, very high, but also a wide range. So you don't know exactly what you would average there. But if you're looking at something like that, that could be something you might want to look for. Um, they also have a few other jobs, but they do actually have a game section of their brand now and you search for game they do have game designers and things like that available in some areas you have player support for external games but some of these are in person so you obviously want to go for the ones that are remote i would think but um, every once in a while you'll find something like that where you get to test games and rate them for netflix and as far as what it's like to work at netflix they have a 4.1 out of 5 star rating which is obviously very good now we're getting into stuff that has to do with kind of like side hustles or something you might do part time so one is playtestcloud.com this is a place where you actually get paid to test mobile games and you would just go to become a tester at the top right of their website and you can do this for many different areas of the world you just submit the sign-up form with all your details, complete the qualification test, which is unpaid, and then when you qualify, they'll invite you to play tests where you can earn money. Now, you're not, you're not gonna make a lot of money here. Every 15-minute test pays around $9, so you would average somewhere around $36 per hour, but you don't necessarily get a consistent $36 per hour, if that makes sense, because you're only testing here and there. But it's something you can do. Um, you can also play test with your kids if you're a parent, if you want. But um, this is something that's going to require, obviously, a mobile device of some sort, usually an Android or iPhone device, to test a mobile game. And as far as their reviews, they have really good reviews as well. 4.9 out of 5 stars. 100% recommend working here to a friend. Now, another thing you can check is playerauctions.com. I just recently found out about this uh, particular site because I was looking for an alternative to another marketplace website where you used to be able to, or you still can sell online accounts, but it didn't have very good ratings on Trustpilot, so I was trying to find an alternative, and I found playerauctions.com, which fit exactly what I was looking for. So you can see the uh, Trustpilot ratings for player auctions are very good. This is one thing I'm really trying to make sure about when I'm covering a site for you, is to make sure that they are actually verified they're well rated they're not just some trash website so this is 4.3 out of 5 stars 13,000 ratings obviously very good and i think they said that like pretty much every negative rating they've ever had they they actually reach out to the person who gave a negative rating and tried to help them which is also a good sign of customer support so again it's at playerauctions.com it's a place where you can sell your game accounts so if you're a gamer and you have an account maybe you've been working on for years maybe you have a wife and kids now or or a husband and kids now 
or whatever, you might want to sell that account. Or maybe you want to make it a hobby. Maybe you have a lot of free time to play games and you're really good at certain types of games. You can build up these accounts and you can sell them for thousands of dollars in some cases. So the because I'm working on a new review for this site, I decided to go ahead and post it on here. The pros that I like about this website are great trust pilot scores, they prevent personal information from being shared between the buyer and seller, which is great. Um, so they kind of hold everything and they're as a third party, I think they do a really good job. You have free registration registration and listing of your account. So you never pay anything until you actually collect money and then they take a small percentage. They hold the asset and payment in escrow until verified delivery. So that's also just a, a trustworthy thing to do. 200 plus games that you can sell accounts for. They have many different payment methods, small transaction fees on sales, which are only around 10 to 13%. And then they add a 99 cent um, kind of one-off fee on there. And then it's also available worldwide, whether you are buying or selling, you don't even have to be in the same country as the person you're selling to. A couple of cons would be like, they do have reimbursement fees or disbursement fees, I should say, for certain payment methods, which they cover um, in a separate page on their website here, where they talk about like, if you use a certain method like Skrill or PayDo or a wire transfer or something like that, just depends on what you use, there may be an additional fee just for that, just for uh, making that happen. So that's on top of the transaction fee. And then you may take a while to find buyers, but so that's another thing is you don't want to depend on this for consistent income. It's one of those things where you might get a nice little uh, paycheck every once in a while, maybe a couple times a year, depending on how frequently you use this. So, you know, as far as a rating for a, a marketplace like this, I give them an eight out of 10 because they don't have really that many cons. They seem to be very responsible as a third party for how they handle everything as well. And their reviews are very good. Another thing you can do by playing games is use a website called playoneup.com. You can do Android or Apple devices here. Now, if you wanna use a iPhone, they actually have a a listing in their Apple App Store, which is a 4.1 out of five star rated game at a 3000 plus ratings. It's also a free app. So as you can see here by these screenshots, you play games. Usually these are gonna be like sports related or something like that. And you see like Madden, NBA, you see Fortnite, Call of Duty, Warzone, NHL, FIFA. Most of these are sports games with maybe a first person shooter or two. You also have tournaments where you can compete against a bunch of people, but basically the, the premise of this is you, you bet a little bit of money, you can play one-on-one -on -one or you can play tournaments. So if you play one-on-one, -on -one, the winner takes all and you don't necessarily double up. It's more like you might get like, you double up and then you pay a small fee to player up. That's basically how it works because they have to collect money to run this app, of course, as a third party. But basically that's how it works. So you will, instead of, you know, completely doubling up like if you put in 25 and the other person puts in 25 you don't get 100 you might get like 90 or you might go like 85 or something like that and a small fee will go to one up but it's a highly rated app and again you can get the android version i think it still has to be downloaded on their website for whatever reason but you can go to playoneup.com and they have these tournaments and they have one-on-one -on -one, uh, games that you can play for all sorts of different like sport games and those types of uh, games and then you can get paid by doing this on either PlayStation or Xbox. So it's typically going to be console gaming. Next you have a website called Quiz. Now this is Quiz with three eyes. That's basically how you spell it. So it's it Google may try to redirect you to something called Quizzes. It's not the same thing. It's Quiz with three eyes basically. I actually found out about this from a podcast. So this, there's a big podcast network. This is just one of the podcasts, but there's a huge podcast network of, of different sports podcasts called the Locked On Network. So this is just one example, like I said. So you might have heard of one of these before, depending on where you live, for your favorite sports team. And they have basically, this was one of the things that they were promoting for a while was this company called quiz which is basically a trivia site so if you think you know a lot about certain things like for instance they were promoting like if you listen to a basketball podcast they promote the basketball version if you listen to a football podcast they promote it for football if you feel like you know a lot about these sports or you know a lot about just general knowledge whatever it is you can do it for a lot of different things they have music general knowledge they have sports basketball geography movies the bible vampire diaries 
Viz, you know, Disney, they have all sorts of like TV shows on here and all sorts of things. And then you have like these prize pools. So essentially the people who know the most are the ones that get paid. So you can check out quiz.com and sign up. It'll look something like this. And then you can obviously learn more about it, go to the FAQ and everything, but it's literally just, it's a prize pool type thing where if you really know a lot about one particular subject and you can find that subject on here, you can get paid pretty, uh, you know, a few extra dollars here and there to just prove you know your stuff. Next, we have a website called Inbox Dollars. Inbox Dollars is another one that's very highly rated on Trustpilot. They have a 4.2 out of five star rating. They've been around a long time, so they have plenty of reviews. Um, and they actually pay you for playing games, as you see. You also can shop and cash in offers online. You have surveys you can take. They have paid emails you can do. You may, have been, you may be able to watch videos. You can also refer people. It's what you would call a get paid to app, where you basically get paid to do a, a, an assortment of different things. And you can choose what you want to do. So you can see right here, I actually have an account with this website because it's been around a long time and it's a pretty cool website. Like I said, it's very trustworthy. You have to be careful with these get paid to sites because some of them, you know, they they don't have good reviews or they have fake reviews, but this one's been around a long time. Their apps are highly rated. You can get them on Android and iPhone, and then you also have the website. So you have offers that you can do, which you basically get like cash back from things. You have surveys, you have games you can play. You have uh, shopping online and all sorts of stuff like that. So if you wanted to do games, for instance, you have all these different games you can play. You have Monopoly, you have Candy Crush, you have all sorts of different games that are actually very popular. Another thing you can check out is called Feature Points. Feature Points is kind of like Inbox Dollars. They have a website and they also have an app. Now, one of the things you do to basically get paid to play games would be downloading apps. So what you would have to do with this, you would actually, um, you can create your account on the website if you want, but you can also set it up through their mobile app. So their mobile app looks something like this. It's got 3.6 out of five stars, 10 million plus downloads on the Android version. And of course they have the Apple version as well. But what they have, the main thing they got famous for was downloading apps. So you see this screen where you download these apps, you have Instagram, you have Clash of Clans, which is a pretty, pretty well-known mobile game. So you could get 300 points, for instance, by downloading Clash of Clans. You would play it for like two minutes or something like that. And then you get you get rewarded these points. And then as you accumulate points here in like the top right, your total, then you can cash those in. And when you cash them in, you have the choice of gift cards. As you can see, many different gift cards that are as low as like $2. You have cash, which is PayPal. That's usually what I do. They also pay you very quickly, which I've always liked. And then you have Bitcoin, which is another thing you can do if you're into that. So they have lots of different payment methods. Now, they do not have the best Trustpilot scores. They're pretty split between five stars and one star. They have a, a fair amount of four star ratings as well. Any site you look at is mostly five and one stars because the only people that take time out of their day to review stuff are usually either a big fan or very mad at that company. But the thing about them is I've actually had, they're verified, first of all, but I also have had a good experience in my personal experience with them. So that's why I left them on here. And because they have a pretty close split between five and one star ratings. So, you know, when, if you see vast majority of one star ratings, then you should probably run. But like I said, I've had a pretty good experience with them. So, I, you know, even though their reviews could be better, uh, I, I've actually been paid hundreds, maybe even a few thousand dollars just on the side from this company. And then you also have Swagbucks. Swagbucks is also another get paid to website where you can get paid to play games. They also have a very good trust pilot st Trust Pilot score of 4.2 out of five stars. Been around a long time. You can use the website version on your PC or you can use their mobile apps on Android and Apple devices. You have all sorts of different gift cards you can get paid from. And you can also, you can give to charity when you earn or you can collect the money yourself. And then you have all sorts of different things you can do. So you see right here, we're on the rewards page. You can also go to web. You can get paid to search things you have the shopping page and then you have all sorts of other things so you're you should be able to also still play games here if you go on the the drop down here on the left side on the website you can see all the different things you can get paid for you have answering questions like surveys you have shopping online for cash back you have discovering different deals and rewards you have search and then you have play so play of course would be their game section 
And as you can see, it's very similar to something like inbox dollars. They have a lot of the same games actually, where you can get paid a certain amount of what they call swag bucks, which is their point system that you convert to dollars later on for playing these games. And they have all sorts of different types of games. So like you could sort them, like if you wanted to play action games, you could basically sort it by that, for instance, and get paid for them. So they also have these on both iOS and Android. Last but not least, we have a website called Quick Rewards. Quick Rewards is not the like prettiest website in the world, but if you look at their surveys, um, if you look at their reviews, 4.2 out of five stars, very good. They're a verified company. They have 93 reviews, which is a solid sample size, and 73% are five star ratings. Only 13% are one star. So they have been around a long time. They're just kind of a basic website where you get paid to do different things. And one thing you can do is get paid to play games. As you see, you earn rewards for playing free games of luck and skill. It's going to be very similar to something like swag bucks or inbox dollars. You choose from games like Trivia, Mahjong, Crosswords, Mash 3, and many others and get paid to play. So these are some of the few websites where they're actually highly rated. They have withstood the test of time and they actually pay you to play games. They also have a good Better Business Bureau rating of A plus as well, which is always nice to see. And they've paid out over $7 million to members since 2002. And the minimum to cash out is only one cent, which means you can get paid probably as soon as daily because of such a low payout requirement. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home and ways to make money like these as far as if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. It tells me what types of subjects you want me to cover more in the future. And don't forget to leave a comment if you want to ask me a question or suggest something for future videos. And I'll see you in the next one.